Hey, today we are in God Mark 7 with 2 liter TDI engine and DSG transmission and I'm going to show you how to um, increase your engine idle speed. By default it's 800 and we are going to increase it a little bit but uh, before we do that uh, let me just uh, tell you why you would want to do this. First of all um, diesel engines have uh, a little bit of shake and the it, the engine is rough. It's rougher when the engines, uh, when the RPMs uh, are lower. So uh, if you want this, um, uh, if you want this to be a little bit more smooth, you can increase your idle speed a little bit, and this will uh, help you preserve your dual mass flywheel. And the second reason is the DSG transmission. If you have stock uh, control module software over here, as well as in the engine control module, and you want those. Um, um, and you want this gearbox to keep a little bit um, uh, lower gears, it will not shift up as, uh, as quick, you can uh, increase your engine idle speed and the um, uh, transmission will uh, try to uh, um, select the next gear a little bit later with a little bit higher RPMs because the next gear, when the um, um, RPM drop at the um, highest gear, uh, higher gear, um, uh, the engine and the transmission will work together and it will um, make sure that those RPM will not fall be, um, uh, below a certain point. So increasing this uh, idle speed will also change how your, might also change how your um, DSG transmission works. Okay, so we need OBD11 and I have it over here. We need to shut down the engine but leave the um, ignition on. So let me just do that. Engine off, ignition on. OBD connected to the car. We are entering the uh, list of modules and the module number one is the engine. First let's go to security access and enter the um, security login which is 27971 and this will let us perform any changes in adaptations. So right now we are going to adaptations and we are looking for idle speed. Idle speed idle RPM correction factor. This is the correct name. And by default it's set to zero. So you are not setting the uh, idle speed that you want, but you are setting the correction factor. So by default it's 800. If you want to increase it uh, to let's say 900, you need to type 100 over here. So the stock 800 plus your correction value and this will give us 100. So this was accepted. Let's exit, let's disconnect from the car, disconnect and right now let's start the engine and let's check if it worked. And you can see that the um, uh, idle RPMs are a little bit higher. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.